On the third Sunday of August, it rained and rained. The car park flooded and the sky grew dark. We began by sharing a psalm. Psalm 103. A hymn of praise to God's compassion and love. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust, our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on his children's children on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. This week I'm going to introduce to you um, two young people. They are performance artists, they're called Action Hero, and they've done a wide variety of things, a very wide variety, variety of things. And in 2018, they undertook this project called O Europa, which is described as a new collection of works by Action Hero that spans the continent and seeks to reimagine the ways in which we think about Europe and how we continue to share this space together. Action Hero have been travelling across Europe in their motorhome asking strangers to sing a love song. Beginning their journey on April, in April 2018, the artists have travelled over 42,000 kilometres through 33 European countries, all the while living and working in their van. So far they've recorded over 900 love songs, mostly recorded inside their van and sung by people they've met as they've been travelling. The songs are about being in love, but also falling out of love, about heartbreak and joy and hope. This ever-evolving archive of songs is broadcasting 
from a network of beacons placed by the artist on the borders and edge places across Europe, situated on invisible boundaries, margins, cultural junctures and geological edge lines. The love songs will play forever in these special locations, audible to anyone who visits and tunes in. So what's it all about and how does it work? Well, we've got a short two minute film that illustrates this. Még az éjjel kimulatom magamat el csárdába, úgy est tudom, meghalok nem sokára. Én Istenem, jobb es volna meghalni, jobb es volna vonat alá feküdni. Hogy a vonat vágná össze az én árva szívemet, a kerekel vésni fel a nevemet. Az ujjamra sírítem a gyűrűmet, visszavárom a régi szeretőmet, mert én a valióha, olyan világot élek, még a király fiával sem cserélek. Sötét kékre vagyon az ég lefestve, utoljára voltam nálad az este, utoljára fogtam ajtót húzóját. Adjon Isten, kedves babám, jöjj szakát! So a little sample, during the course of their tour around 33 countries, they did a series of these, what they called video postcards, and that was just one from the series. But it gives you an idea of what they were doing. They arrived in a place, put up a sign, said, if you want to sing and have it recorded, come and see us. And most people made their recordings in their camper van, but they went out to homes for older folk and community centres as well. So they established this big archive of songs, of love songs. So, imagine for a moment that this young couple arrive, and what would you sing? What would you choose to sing to record on their archive? Having thought about it in a church kind of way, in a faith way, I came to this chap, Frederick William Faber. Grew up as a Calvinist, moved to the Church of England, became involved with the Oxford movement, the Thai church movement, and then turned to Rome and became a Catholic. And he wrote this hymn, next one. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. And I think if I got one shot that's something to record for posterity to put into those edgelands, those places of historical or modern tension, 
I could do worse than use this hymn. Now, of course, we can't sing it, but it does lend itself to being spoken responsibly. So that's what we'll do. Six verses responsibly. If you would take the words in the darker time phase. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in his justice which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all members in the sorrows of the head. There is grace enough for thousands of new worlds as great as this. There is room for fresh creations in that upper home of bliss. For the love of God is broader than the measure of the mind. And the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. But we make his love too narrow by false limits of our own. And we magnify his strictness with a zeal he will not own. If our love were but more simple, we should take him at his word. And our lives would be a by the presence of our Lord. Just drop that one. Down. But we make his love too narrow by false limits of our own. My word, there's a message there. So a reminder of the source of our love in Christ, through Christ, his commandment. In John's Gospel, once they shared their final meal, and, Jesus, and Judas leaves, we read these words. When he, Judas, was gone, Jesus said, now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you can't come. A new command I give you. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Where I am going you cannot come. In a sense, Jesus is saying to them, I am going to such a dark place. I am going to walk headlong into pain and anguish and such distress and such despair. I don't want that for you. But I'll leave you with a command to love one another and that's how you will be known. Next one. I trolled the Methodist website to find what they had by way of merchandising. You probably didn't know that, but they have a section of merchandising, rather as a Premier League football club does. So you can buy 100% polyester tie, or an umbrella, or a band. Those walk humbly bands, I think, actually are a powerful badge. But Jesus is saying, essentially, you don't need a badge. How you'll be known is by the love you show. And that's the challenge for us. That is what we are called to live by. To live for. Day by day, week by week. 
COVID pandemic or whatever. Love one another as I have loved you. Show this love and you will be known as my own. Back with Action Hero. Next one. Just to remind you of that third paragraph of their opening explanation. This ever evolving archive of love songs is broadcasting 24 7 from network beacons placed by the artist on the borders and edge places across Europe. Situated on invisible boundaries, margins, cultural junctures and geological edgelands. The love songs will play forever in these special locations, audible to anyone who visits and tunes in. So they're broadcast very locally. You need to be in those places. Anybody like to hazard a guess at the kind of places that these, these beacons are? Well, at places of conflict, at places that have been borderlands in a historical sense, the Maginot Line, on the Schengen border, that border between the common movement in Europe and those who are excluded, and the biggest cluster of them I found to be just on the, the coastal strip, that Calais area and around that length of coast, which called to mind some of the images that we've seen. This is a still, I know it's badly out of focus, but it's a still from a BBC film that was made available this week um, of a migrant boat setting out across the channel. And whatever our perspectives might be, the treatment of folk who are desperate is shaming. And how many millions of pounds are the government prepared to pay to try and stop people entering this country? I know it's hard and no resources are short, but can we not show compassion? Can we not find ways of supporting folk in such terrible and desperate need that they're prepared to set out across the English Channel in a rubber boat, in a small dinghy. And we know it's not just there. It's across Europe and it's across the world. How are, to be, how are we to be recognised as followers of Christ? By the love that we show. Let's pray. Our prayers of intercession. Loving God, you have given so much. You showed us that your love in the person of Jesus who lived as one of us and gave himself carrying to the cross only love your love which was and is and always shall be indestructible and you call us as followers To live 
live out love. Help us to be sensitive to need within our community. Help us to be responsive when folk call for help. Help us to be prepared to speak out for good. And may we live with kindness and hope and joy and with peace in our hearts. And we pray especially today for those that are in difficulty. Those who find themselves in camps. Those who have nowhere to call home. Those who are isolated in any way. We pray also for those that we may know that are waiting for hospital appointments or test results, who are fearful of what the future may bring. And as we hear the rain outside, we pray for those in lands of drought those who struggle and till the soil desperate to make ends meet may our knowledge of them help us to make the right choices when we shop in our supermarkets and when we buy online. We pray also for those who mourn, those who have lost loved ones in these extraordinary and difficult times. May they sense your presence and be held in your love. Amen. And let's share together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. When I, this is just a final thought, when I contacted Gemma from Action Hero to ask if we could use that short film, she wrote back and said, I hope the project can bring some joy to your congregation. It's certainly been and continues to be because they are planning to carry on. An incredible experience for us. Having people sing you love songs all day long for months on end is a cure for even the hardest of hearts. If we've been singing, we may have tried this Graham Kendrick song. Soften my heart, Lord, soften my heart. From all indifference, set me apart. To feel your compassion, to weep with your tears. Come soften my heart, O Lord. Soften my heart. It seems to me 
that for us, for this congregation, the Christian folk in this land and farther afield, we will need to have clear thinking and soft hearts that we might discern the way forward and find our path on the journey of faith. And so friends, go in peace to serve the Lord. Amen.